Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Hopefully by the end of this video, you will be able to use the Lattice Deformer to effortlessly manipulate your objects. But just before we get started, I would just like to thank those of you watching who have joined the Patreon. Your support really does mean the world to me. So to use the tool, you're going to want to first make a selection. The nice thing about this tool is that it works with a single or multiple meshes at the same time. This means you don't have to worry about combining anything and ruin your hierarchies in the outliner. Right, so go ahead and choose the objects you want to deform. In this instance, it's the entire bike. Navigate to Deform Lattice. If you're not seeing the Deform menu, try just changing your menu set to the modeling one instead. And if you're not seeing this menu or you're missing something else, I have a video on the different hotkeys to unhide missing menus. I'll link to that on screen and in the video's description. Right, so navigate to the form lattice. Once you've applied the lattice, you can adjust the amount of points by adjusting the S, T and U divisions amounts in the attributes, which you can find um, by going to the lattice shape. I will just set them to 10, 8 and 2, as I tried those values earlier and they worked quite well. To actually manipulate the tool, you need to hold the right mouse button and switch to lattice point mode. And once you've done that, you can start to move the points around to reshape and deform the meshes. Notice how everything within this group is moving together, regardless of if those actual meshes are combined or not. Cool, so after finishing, the lattice will continue to exist, and you can actually even go ahead and make further changes, maybe just giving them a more comfy seat. And to then set this in stone, you're just going to want to delete history. So edit, delete all by type, history. From deforming single meshes to manipulating multiple objects, the Lattice tool is your go-to solution for complex deformations. And I think it's a tool you will find pretty useful. The community on Discord is ever growing. Check out this video's description for an invite to come and join the conversation. I'm now including a link tree in the description. Check me out on my other socials to follow along with the other various bits and bobs I get up to. And with that, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Come follow me on my socials and I'll see you in the next video.